Wow. Is that better? Should be. Grab my laptop. My phone never does as well as this. Uh, while I was away, Crystal, I thought of a question for you. Um, did you find a place to stay yet? That's what I was thinking of. And Susan, I was saying you looked very relaxed with your doggy in your lap. Yeah, I just grabbed my laptop. I, I've got a uh, Wi-Fi extender down here, but hello, Karen Story. But um, sometimes your phone just doesn't pick up as good, and then sometimes that app just doesn't seem to cut it. Good, good. Um, you're coming the 24th through. Um, maybe we can hook up. I We're going to be out of town in Orlando the week of Christmas, but we will. Hello, Leslie. But we'll be back. The Saturday after, or something like that. Yeah, we'll be back before you're. We should be back before you're gone. We'll contact or we'll connect as we get closer. Yes, traveling like a high fluting person in my RV. You look super relaxed. I like it. Leslie Harvey, how are you today? How's him? Little Kidlands. Like all my electrical boxes right there. Probably two of two of which aren't even. I think that's phone, which we don't even have anymore. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Good, excellent. Where are you, Susan? Am I making you seasick with my rocking? One thing I can't do is turn my. Oh, there's no camera to turn around. Sorry, I'm on my. I'm on my laptop, not my phone. Duh. Car going by. Hey, car. What's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, if you're in Mount Airy, yes. I won't give anything away about Mount Airy. But there's some kind of little froggy out there just to getting it. Mm. It's actually warm out here. It's actually nice. but So what's everybody into this lovely... Sunday afternoon. There's a squirrel up there doing something too. I hear him. Well, did that bring that what you said? Yes. We'll be checking. We'll be waiting. I'm sorry, Susan. I couldn't help you. I use a Mac and um, I use iMovie on my Mac for all my vlogs. And it's really, I mean, couldn't be easier. Uh, trust me. And so I'm not sure when you asked me about what you've been using, what's brought on my shirt, sun coming at me. Um, what you were talking about, the the, the software. I, uh, Nancy, hey, Pitbull, our mother-in-law, who her entrance is right there. She's the PC. And um, when it messes up, she calls me, hey, how are you doing? Um, she calls me down to help her, and I just laugh because I can't even hardly run a PC anymore. I mean, I, I literally... Used to be that's all I used, but Max are all I use now. Uh, no, I'm not live, Larry. It's Memorex. I'm live. It's me. Hello, Larry Harvey. You know, I saw you post that, and it really could be. I don't know. I don't know anything about getting rid of it, but yeah. That sun is, why is it I came out here, it was nice, and now the sun's blinding me. It's, it'll get up above those trees or into those trees in a minute. It's the light upon my face. <laughs> I got on last night, had to get right back off. I planned on staying a little longer on NTL's premiere, but it didn't happen. Yes, I know, I'm glowing. I'm hoping that it's going to get up in that tree in just a minute. It'll knock that out, or I'll move. Well, he's bright. More ways than one. We were, I was um, doing a, a wedding here November 17th for a good friend, and I was out at a, a very tame bachelor party. We went to Pigeon Forge last night and had steak and hung out and played games and rode go-karts. And so I was with that group, and I saw the stream or the premiere, and um, I could only get on for a second, and it was raining. I was outside. It was a mess, so I just had to give up. And I know, Leslie, you were talking about me or saying something, and I couldn't, I couldn't even... You said you're talking about me. I'm like, what'd you say? And then that was the end of it. I was done. Uh, 
Uh, Pitbull, how are you, buddy? What's the temperature like in St. John's, Newfoundland? I would love to know. You at home. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm just uh, hanging out outside at the... Doing great. Tired today. Didn't sleep much last night. We didn't get home till... Oh, I don't ever get home that late on a Saturday. And to me, some people won't be late, but I get home about 12, 15 this morning. And for me, that's super late. And so I just, I didn't sleep. I knew I had to be up at like six. And so you know how that is getting bed late, you know, I hear them. Yeah, they're over there. This is a Hitchcock film remake. There, I don't see them behind me though. Somewhere in those trees behind me. I don't know. There's a big dead tree right there. I need to pull it down. There's more than one dead tree in my yard. I need to come down. Oh. And they're just screaming back there. I don't know what they're saying. They're telling me to go in is what they're saying. Hear the cars and everything. It's just a happening place out here. I'm not very happening today. And then I have group and we have group tonight, you know, supposedly at five, but I know everybody's going to be late today. So it's a cool windy fall day. Temperature 30. Wow. Burr's right. You know, we had a few cool days here and now we're, it's uh, probably 70 right now here in the next few days. We're going to be 75, 74. And then, um, yes, I know it's eight minutes. Uh, thanks, Larry. Thanks for the math. I, I needed it. Um, next, this coming Friday, we're going to get close to freezing coming up in a few days. No, sorry. Um, we're going to get close to freezing here in just a few days. Um, I don't think we're going to quite make it, but this weekend coming, it's supposed to get down. Um, I think I saw 33 maybe, which is the coldest we've been this year. Well, coldest we've been this fall. Let's put it that way. This year would not be correct. Mm. But we got a lot of rain, which we needed. I saw somebody post on NTO yesterday that they'd shut down 441 because of the high winds, um, and which I responded, thank God we have rain, because if anything got, uh, any kind of fires got lit up, um, would have had much of effect because we had a lot of soaking rain. Uh, I don't know, Larry. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do some things that aren't, aren't, haven't been vlogged 50 times and so unless i have some now i know the hike so i enjoy my hike so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be hiking more we're about to go to a place in virginia and um, when i go out there i'll definitely vlog that i'd like to do some things in knoxville vlog some things in knoxville but um it's just getting there you know i've been busy we talked about that the other day but um so i don't know oh wow yeah, we're not quite there. Some stupid forecast said we were going to have snow on Halloween. And it's like, guys, it's going to be 74 degrees on Halloween. I don't think we're going to have snow. So I don't know what that was about. I'm going to start finding them, Larry. I've just, uh, for this next couple months, because of the conversation we had the other day, I've got to find an outlet to just relax. And that's going to be it. Um, a good friend of mine, the guy that I play a lot of music with, JoJo. Some of you all have seen him. The, the video that you saw. The video of uh, here to pump you up. His dad works at Bass Pro Shop, has for years, and um, he likes to hike. And so I'm going to start. That's the guy that you saw in my video, to Indian Flat Falls. And um, I didn't get to tell you in that video. I don't know if you could see. If you watched my video when I was at the falls, I was talking about the falls, and then I, Ken was behind me, and I said something about he don't call this Indian Flat Falls. Man, we got in there and he fell flat on his back. We're four four point one miles up. He fell flat on his back and scared me to death. I mean, he's looking up at me. He can't breathe. I'm like, oh, Lord. And um, thank God he got up, got his breath back. He didn't hurt any of his limbs, but I think he cracked a rib. Um, but, you know, we got we, we went back out to the main trail, and I figured we're going to go down now. He's like, let's go up a couple more miles, and we did. And then we were supposed to be that do that big hike in uh, 
Abington or Damascus, Virginia. And he texted me the day before, the night before, and said, I can't do it. So he definitely cracked a rib or two. I, I don't know. It wasn't good. He hit hard. And um, but thank God he was okay. I mean, relatively speaking, I didn't have to carry him down the mountain. But yeah, Larry, I'll start. I'm going to start making some um, mental notes um, of like uh, trails that they're moderate. Like that trail was listed as moderate, but some sites had it as, um, I don't know, somebody on here probably knows what the next level for moderate is. It's moderate and then it's a, it's not hard. It's called some strenuous. That's it. And some had it listed as strenuous. And even though it was a long way, it was not a strenuous hike. It was a very slight increase. Um, and you saw that hike. If you've watched any of William Loudy's things, um, there's a old railroad that went right beside that all the way up. And that's why you saw that old Cadillac or all that old truck that I had videoed in there. Some, they had drove that up there and it broke down. They just left it. And so it's pretty cool. That's a great hike. It's really pretty up there. So we're going to start doing some more stuff. I might get brave and even go up and stay. Another friend of mine who is coming tonight, who comes to our group, goes to church with me. He loves to go hike and go camp. And uh, I'm not usually that brave, but we hiked above that falls to campsite 28, which is just above it. And um, there's no shelter there, but there's a place to hang your food on a, you know, on a, on a cable so the bears can't get it. Cause there's, we, there's a lot of bears up there. And so, um, I told him, I said, let's go try it. I can do, ah, you can. I didn't think I was going to do 12 miles the other day, but I did. So I told him we might go up there and stay overnight. He's got all kinds of gear. I don't have to really have anything. And so we might go staying out up there. Really peaceful. About six miles up. Ah, you can do it. You can do it. So that was a long answer to, are you going to vlog anything this week? Maybe if I find something interesting to vlog, I don't think, I think he's out of town. So I doubt we'll do any, any hiking this week, although it'd be a great week for it. And there's planes here. There's all kinds of stuff happening. So that guy's going to crash my yard, but maybe I don't know. Susan, how long are you away? I know you said I had, so you typed it on one of the things, or you said that a comment, how long are you going to be there? A week? I can't remember. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Again, I didn't set out to do 12. I thought we were going to do, I thought we were going to do like three or four miles the other day when he picked me up. He picked me up that morning, and he, I, he said, I'll figure it out. I'm like, okay, great. I'm ready to go. And then we go up there, and I had done that hike before. I'm like, well, this is not exactly a, a it's a big, it's not a, not, it wasn't steep. It's just long. And I was like, well, that's already eight miles. And then we go to the four and he's like, let's go up a couple more miles. Okay. But, um, you know, I felt good except for mom was wearing an old pair of tennis shoes. I've already fixed that. I bought a pair of Merrill's, uh, it was either Merrill's or Keens and I bought a pair of Merrill's. I've got a set of Keens. So. Oh, here comes the sun again. Y'all, I am boring tonight. I know. <laughs> no, I loved your Sugarland hike. Um, that is a vlog I'm going to do, and I'll tell you what it is. Um, my father's mother, my grandmother, um, I may have said this before, got kicked off the park up there. Uh, I was using his. I'm going to. I'm going to, Larry. And um, I started looking up some of the history of the cars, and that's, that was their last name. And um, I know their homestead is right there. My dad, I said this before on the uh, when we've been live, my dad actually took me up there one time. It's about a mile and a half right in that area, Susan, right around Sugarlands. And um, I can't remember how to get there, but I guarantee if I can tell, tell, the, tell the park rangers there around the Sugarlands the name, the Sugarlands Visitor Center, and I can tell them what the name was, and I can even tell them what my grandmother's father's name was and his father who lived there, and I guarantee they can get me to it. So I would love to vlog that because there's still a chimney there's still some remnants of the old chimney right there. Uh, dad had taken me up there. We go like a mile and a half up a trail. And then dad gets, my dad just goes off trail. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, trust me. And I'm like, man, we're going to get lost. And um, he took us right back to it. But I was too young to remember, too young to care. Boy, that sun is killing me now. But um, it was great. Till Wednesday. Okay. So that is a vlog I really like to do. Just, just for my own interest considering that's where my family was from on my father's mom's side. Really neat. 
exciting stuff, people. I told you I was going to be exciting. Most of y'all are asleep already. Most of y'all got in my vlog and you're snoozing. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm snoozing. Yeah, you know, Susan, I loved your video. Um, I love that you did it and you were talking about how it's ADA accessible. I love that. That was so cool. And so good to let us know. The, the trail I was on actually... Uh, horses were allowed and I didn't think we'd see any and um, when we were back at that old car uh, She's in there. We were back at that old car um, Sure enough two horses came by it was really neat. You gotta watch the horse poo, but you know other than that I'm Trying to listen for Let's go find her Larry y'all don't get sick. I'm gonna walk Oh, I did it. What? Larry Harvey was asking about you. I'm vlogging for a second. Oh. Who are you talking to? I was talking to. There you go, Lair. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the house of my twin? No, I didn't, Larry. I didn't tell her. He said the other day when we were talking about you not having a job, I said hi. She was, I saw her. Um, he said that Dixie Stampede was hiring horse riders. And I said, no, I said they were hot. They were hiring pooper scoopers and you weren't that interested. No. I could do the pooper scoop. So I couldn't do right the horse. But I'd like walk. to see you try. Oh, I didn't put a pillow down. No, I didn't put a pillow down. There's nanny. I didn't put a pillow down. I've never seen nanny. Yeah. Say hi, nanny. Hi. <laughs> there's a, uh, is that Ollie or Sophie? Oh, I'm going to get y'all sick. Oh, there's both of them. Look out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. This is um this is up there, but it's off the trail. That's why I've got to ask one of the park rangers how to get back to it. And I know if I can give them the name, they can tell me exactly how to get there. Um, and this was one of those when we got back there. You know the old I hiked two miles uphill in the snow to get to school. They didn't th look. They that I'd asked that. I said so they went to school. He's like, yeah, they hiked a mile and a half down from there to get even to school. And so I guarantee there was snow at some points coming back, and it was. Like you hear that and you laugh when people say that, but these people did. I mean, it was at least a mile and a half down. And that may have been a, I don't know if that was where the school was. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway. All right. We're leaving Leslie. I blew on the Who's Nanny's apartment? Shh. So jealous of her apartment. She has not supply and such a nice place down here. I love it. Her little kitchen. Going back out. Honey, Larry said hi, Nanny. Hi. Bye, Leslie. Bye, Nanny. You stay inside. <laughs> uh, she's got such a nice place down there. I love having her close and being able to take care of her, and that's why we did it. So, I did. Well, I, you know why I did, Susan? Because of the rivers and the creeks. Huh? That's what I mentioned on there. I love the sound of the creeks and rivers, and man, it was so relaxing. I didn't fall asleep. Everybody else is asleep. I still hear that little frog croaking out there. Huh. So what's everybody's rest of Sunday look like? We got group for a couple hours here, and uh, I'm going to relax. I got meetings tomorrow. A friend of mine is adopting... Um, I'll tell her. Um, the same guy I just talked about, Jojo, who plays with me. You've seen that video. They've been fostering three children for quite a, quite a while. And um, sadly enough, but long story, uh, the parents finally gave up their parental rights, and they're adopting them Tuesday morning. Really excited for them. Three precious kids, really young. And I hate that the mom and dad, the biological mother and father, had to do that, but it was the right decision. And so I've hated for them. I'm excited for the for the life that Jojo and Katie are going to give them. And it's going to be a good life. And um, I think that's why the biological parents made the decision they did. They just realized they couldn't give them the life that they needed. And um, so anyway, going to do that Tuesday morning. Going to go to the court and um, be there when they adopt officially. Take their new name on. It's going to be really neat. I've done that one time before. And so anyway, 
be a sort of busy week next week, but that's good. <laughs> oh, so there's your new, there's your new vlog, Susan. You need to do a heavy metal concert so we can relax. Still hear that plane. There's a little small airport right over here. Well, it's a grass field, but people still use it. But maybe what he came out of. There's a biplane that comes in and out of there. It's pretty cool. What else, people? Because i got to go in a minute. Get group started, even though there's nobody here yet. My 5 o'clock group is 5.06. We're going to be down a few tonight. Usually we have 10, 12 people, but I think we're only going to have about four tonight. Leslie, is Leslie? Oh, there's Leslie. I see. She's listening. Good. Don't know who that was, but that's what you do around here. You just wave. You'd be there already. Talking about here, talking about um, East Tennessee. Yeah, it was good this morning. I got the, I got that young guy, that that young kid, sixteen, seventeen, plays keys really well. And so this morning I put him on keys and I sang out front, and uh, I love doing that. It's so much fun. And so with the change of church, I'm going to be speaking more. I'm going to. I told him this morning. I'm like every other Sunday that I speak, you're going to be on keys. And I'm going to sing out front like that. Oh, I know you would. We're having uh, potato soup and broccoli cheese soup tonight. It smelled good. It was in there. Although I wish it was a little colder for that, but oh well. And last week we did a fire, which was really nice. Had hot dogs and chili. Yes, if you weren't here, I'd be angry. <laughs> oh, that's about it that's an update on my boring life not much happening right now catch up on some sleep tonight do another week it'll all be good Susan have fun in North Carolina I'm looking forward to your video Larry I will attempt to vlog something this week if I find something worth vlogging um I know you would. Of course you would, Larry. We'd already be eaten. We wouldn't be waiting on anybody. Um, oh, oh, car slowing down. Oh, is that Ashley? I didn't think she was coming tonight. And she came. That's so great. Well, there's my key. I need to go. So love y'all. And uh, I will talk to you soon. And um, have a great. Yes, somebody arrived. Ashley, she's she's great. She, I'm really surprised. She actually works at the corrections facility and they have to do pedophile checks during Halloween, which I didn't know this, but they go out to every registered pedophile, Blount County. They have to touch them all. No, don't say that. They have to go see them all and they um, have to make sure that they are compliant with a lot of rules. It's pretty interesting. It's good to know they do it. But anyway, love you guys too. And I will talk to you soon. Yes, I didn't say that, Larry. And, and, um, that's why they're going, to make sure they're not touching anything. So, all right. Have a good evening. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. Where is everybody been?